3D printers already look like something from the future for most people. But what about 3D printed food? With us we've got Lynette and she is the founder of Foodini, a printer that can print any meal you like. Lynette, how does it work? Well, at the end of the day, 3D food printer is a kitchen appliance, so it has to be really easy to use. So basically what you do is you prepare your own fresh real ingredients, you pick your recipe and you print. Super easy. Do you think the, the Foodini is a new essential equipment for the kitchen? Absolutely, and here's why. So our proposition for consumers is to stay away from all those processed, packaged, pre-made foods. They have, they're loaded with additives and preservatives, they have chemical sounding ingredient names, too much salt, oil and sugar. Stay away from that. With a 3D food printer, our proposition is to get people back into kitchens and to make these types of foods faster and easier than you can by hand or with any other kitchen appliance. And with Foodini, you're using fresh, real, wholesome food. So it's real food, just 3D printed. And you're talking about how fast it is, but as far as I know about 3D printers, it can take quite a while before they print a specific item. How fast is a Foodini? Well, no one's gonna wait hours for dinner, are they? So we're very aware that 3D <laughs> has to be much faster than your traditional plastic 3D printers. So as an example, you can print crackers in under 30 seconds. You can print an individual ravioli in under two minutes. Of course, it all depends on the quantity, the shape, and the volume of what you're printing. So if you're doing an elaborate chocolate sculpture, it can take up to 30 minutes. But again, you can do a loads of things in just minutes. So the, the Fudini, when it prints the food, it's not cooked yet. Do you think in the future it will be able to produce cooked food? Absolutely, and here's why. Because we're already working on a device that does that. So I can definitely tell you that in the future, you will see 3D food printers that can cook as well. Well, uh, thanks, Lynette. Thank you for sharing. And uh, if you want to check out more about the Fudini, check out interconnection.com.